Wow, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, even... Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> There is no radiation on the surface uh, uh, in the 30 kilometers exclusion zone at all. Like vegetation, berries, mushrooms, uh, so nothing can be taken out of the exclusion zone. Uh, when I say the ground, I mean, uh, it, and uh, we cannot uh, uh, see it uh, later. This was the biggest uh, village in the exclusion zone, um, in former Chernobyl district. And uh, its population was about uh, 3,000 people. So um, you see the houses situated both sides of the road, from the left, from the right, and uh, it's uh, uh, quite long. Uh, and look how they look like. Um, and we'll walk uh, the street. Um, what is their condition now? Uh, that uh, some of them are um, collapsed. In the Russian and Ukrainian languages, it is read like magazine. Yeah. So uh, usually, according to the Soviet standards, uh, they build. It uh, was uh, such an uh, institution, um, always with a library and with an in event. The ceiling, um, and uh, that's why it is also. Um, in I guess uh, I can give you a possibility. It's uh, very easy to get in. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Oh no, I think I'm seeing it sponging. You can stand there with them. I'll take a picture of you in here. <laughs> Of uh, such a private house, um, you can here. But nevertheless, if you want, you can. Both of us, buddy, bro. After the result of the the upper layer means the tent going. And also, here we can find uh, such metal parts. Uh, uh, these are the candle holders. So, every year on the 26th of April, people uh, come here to honor the memory of everyone who suffered from our visitors to the guys of the New Zealand one and uh, uh, spend some time outside about. You can take the picture of the uh, in the area. <clears throat> so, um, I know all the workers are like back in the city.
<laughs> That's so cute. took part in operation of decontamination, you know, uh, in these vehicles they were protected from influence And of you know, microelectronics cannot uh, work properly in high levels of radiation. That's why they went wrong very quickly. Um, as for the Soviet... Uh, number 6 also had uh, just a foundation and number 5 was ready for 85% uh, almost done but uh, both the shelter mm. yeah like this is the the average level on the asphalt right let's cross the road mm. do you see the level six six point three Yeah, six microzeivers. <laughs> Did the driver go far by chance? Did he go back out? Oh, okay. So he'll be. Seventy-two, ninety-nine. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> 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 Thank you. In this welding seal. Yeah, and uh, a precipitation cannot remove it from there. It looked uh, uh, even for now. It looks uh, like water one. Uh, it has the same attributes as modern supermarket uh, do. Uh, it uh, is the region of Ukraine and Belarus. Uh, where we can find a lot of trees, so uh, it is situated almost in the fort. The village Zalisya, it uh, meant beyond the fort.
Yeah, uh, just 35 years passed and uh, <laughs> the day are so high. Yeah, uh, we are here in front of Rebuild in this point behind us. The and we are standing here on the running track. Yeah, all the buildings are behind the stadium. It's serious, huh? So creepy. <laughs> oh my god. Is that the worst? Yeah, that's the worst. <laughs> Wait from a horror film? Yeah. <laughs> I don't wanna come in, in the at night here. Yeah, no way. <laughs> so scary.
Yeah, I say like stairs to kill. And you see then you see the I didn't like them, but I Yeah, they're not gonna fit. Yeah, they're not gonna fit.